What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Basic Series 72 Nia Jax. Here we do have Nia in the packaging. You can see she's a really massive figure. We do have an image of Nia right here. This is her first time in the line. She is part of the women's division which I'm really glad that they are showing that. Don't know if they're going to have it red and blue for Raw and Smackdown but time will tell. On the back you can see the package is a little dinged up but I'm not a mint on card collector so I really don't care. Other figures of this line do include Seamus, Zack Ryder, Shinsuke Nakamura, Dolph Ziggler, Nia Jax, and Dean Ambrose. And then you can see them with their respective brands. Although if you do currently, there's more Smackdown superstars than there are Raw. Just, just saying. But anyway, that's... Nia Jax for you, so what we're going to do now is take a little break, get her opened up, and then go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Nia Jax posing out of the packaging. Let's get a good 360 of the figure. Right off the bat, I'm going to say really liking this figure. I'm really glad that they were able to make a Nia Jax, and they just nailed it perfectly with this figure. There are some things that I question why they did it the way they did, but Overall, still really impressed with this figure. I'm actually surprised she came in a basic wave because, you know, with as much sculpting that went into her, you'd expect her to be part of an Elite series. There are some things that could have been done better, some things that I think could be improved, but overall, I really do like this figure a lot. And I really do like Naya in the ring. She brings that certain dominance that, you know, she should have but she hasn't been used right but anyway let's actually have a look at Nia Jax here gonna say this is probably one of my favorite basic figures that I've ever picked up and that's saying a lot because I don't really pick up basic figures that much besides battle, cer certain battle packs and women figures I really don't pick up basic that much but they did a really good job on this on her face and Hopefully they keep using this face and they just tweak this hair because as it stands she's always kind of tilting her head to the side and the reason for that is that the way the hair is sculpted it's meant to go on the shoulders but you can see right here it just tilts the head too much and I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to like maybe tuck that piece of hair in under the shoulder pad so that she's not always tilting her head wondering what's the next time they're gonna push her. I don't know that's just something that I might be able to fix I'll see what happens but again this looks a lot like Nia Jax here they did a good job on her shoulder pad if the camera will focus on that you can see there's some sculpt work in here and it's actually layered so I do like that that the way it's casted it's, it gives that layered effect and they actually painted it on the inside too which I really do like that then we get her armbands right here which they are raised they're not just painted on there's some sculpting right here the diamond pattern is painted on but again the red armband is sculpted detail it's not just painted on although no, it is sculpted on both sides. I was going to say this side, it's not sculpted, but it is. You can see her sleeves are also sculpted and they do cut off. Although you can obviously tell that this is painted, it's not molded. Because there is two different colors in her skin. Then we get on to her top, which they did a really good job on. Moving into the back, you can see the zipper right here. And then just a lot of detail right here, just in her outfit alone. The studs, they're not sculpted, they're painted on, but I think I can let that go because a lot of this figure is still really nicely sculpted. We go on to these side, I don't know what to call these, side plates, side panels. But again, painted and sculpted on both of them, they're not just molded and then called it a day. Then we go on to her pants here, which, again, these are sculpted, not just painted on. The diamond pattern, yeah, that is painted, but the fact that they, these are sculpted, I really do like that. 
They sculpted her knee pads here, too. It's not a removable piece. It's kind of like Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens, which I am perfectly okay with. And then she has these laced boots, which completes the look. So overall, really glad with how this figure came out and really, really impressed with what they did here. Now, as far as scale goes, let's actually get Nia Posey and then let's bring in a couple of female figures. And so here we have Nia Jax posed next to Charlotte and Dana Brooke and you can see there is a scale difference here and Nia Jax is taller. They share the only parts that Nia Jax even shares with any other women wrestlers are the hands, which I kind of wish that she didn't have this open hand. I wish she had a gripping hand. That's probably my main problem with female figures right now in the world of Mattel. But anyway, let's actually move on to her articulation. She does have a ball in her head, which can look down and up for some reason, although you're mainly going to have her looking down. Head does turn left and right. You will have to watch out for the hair because it will get caught behind her shoulder pads and make it a little tricky to move around, so be aware of that. Arms go out to about that far. They would do a full 360, but they are hindered by her shoulder pads, although this arm is really stiff, and you're not really going to want to move her arms past that anyway, so it's perfectly fine with me. She does have a bicep swivel. She can bend in the elbow at one point. Spins at the wrist, no hinge. She does have a mid-torso joint, which moves forward that far, forward or back that much, as well as some side-to-side -side movement there. Weight swivel. Again, swivel should really be in this mid-torso joint, not at the waist, but that's just how I would design a figure. Legs go forward and back to about there. They go out. Now, this is where I'm a little... Uh, confused on the articulation. She does have a thigh swivel, but it's at an angle. You can see moving it actually does make her foot a little shorter. And if you move it this way, it makes it a little longer. So I don't know why it's at an angle. It's also really stiff on mine. I can't really seem to get past that point, so maybe it has a stopping point in it. Nope. I just spin that one around and it went. They're just really stiff. But yeah, there her thigh swivels at an angle. I don't know why that is. She does have a single bend in the knee, but it goes back really far. She has a boot swivel. A hinge that moves forward and back, although it goes back more than it goes forward. And no rocker ankle, but that's okay. It's still a really impressive figure, so what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get a pose for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this review, so sit tight everyone. So here we have Nia Jax pose for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this figure came out, and like I said, she is probably one of my favorite basic figures that I have picked up in a really long time. There's just so many nice things about this figure. I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons here. With all this sculpting detail, I'm really glad that we got her as a basic figure. I still would have paid the price for her if she was an elite figure, but again, cheaper figure, lower price, can't argue with that. All this detail, and I still think she's a really fantastic figure. I actually picked this girl up at Walmart. Now, if you're looking for Nia Jax, I have seen this wave at Toys R Us and Walmart only, although your area might be a little different with distribution. Definitely pick up Nia Jax. You're going to want to have this figure in your collection, even if you're not into all the women wrestling. She does have a lot of details that I think a lot of people can respect that they went out of their way to make. And again, really do, really, really in awe about this figure. If you can find her, add her to your collection. And with that being said, I'm King of Dragons 5000 saying don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews. All my WWE videos are also up, so go ahead and check those out. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to add it to my collection. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. My dreams are nice.